Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a little mini salon vlog. Today's actually my day off, but I am going into work to do my work wife's hair, Aubrey. She does want like a little partial done, so I'm just gonna go into work and do her hair. Um, technically, I did have an appointment today for her to do my hair. We were supposed to do each other's hair. But as you guys saw a couple videos ago, I did get my hair done by Kevin just because we had an engagement brunch and I just didn't want to be brown for the brunch. <laughs> also, don't mind sleepy Luke. He's coming to the salon with me. So, Lukey Bear, you want to come to the salon? <laughs> you want to come to the salon with mommy? You're not going to stay home today. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna stay home today. Mm. So anyways, I will be filming me doing her hair. It is pretty nice that she's my co-worker because I can go a little bit more in depth and really show you guys what I'm doing and just talk to you guys a little bit better. So that is the plan today. I'm making some coffee right now because I did just make some coffee and I do have to leave in 10 minutes. What time is it? It's 9.31. Yeah, it's 9.31. I woke up at 8 and I just took my time this morning. So it is now 9.30. The appointment is at the appointment is at 10 a.m. So it should take me about three hours because it's only a partial. I do have a couple things to do after the salon. I'm gonna go to Dollar Tree because I forgot what I need. <laughs> I need something from Dollar Tree. They're gonna need mason jars. I'm gonna get mason jars because I want to start meal prepping salads and I want to put it in the mason jars. After the salon, I'm going to go to Dollar Tree, come home. I am so excited because today I'm going to be cooking Luke's food, fresh, like homemade dog food for Luke. I'm so excited. I bought all of this stuff yesterday, so I can show you guys a little bit on what I'm doing later. But I am so excited for him. He's going to eat so good and gourmet now. Listen, anything to make him live longer, I'll do it. So I will be prepping his food and it's supposed to last a whole week. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that today and then after that depending on the time maybe clean up a little bit and then I have orange theory at 4 30 today, so I have quite a bit of things to do um, After orange theory, it'll probably be like 5 30. So I'm gonna come back home and then Ryan and I are gonna cook dinner Hopefully we'll see how that turns out and that's pretty much it for today Obviously the most exciting part is doing Aubrey's hair and cooking Luke's food so I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing today. I'm just wearing this crop top that I got from Sheen. It's just like a nude crop top. And then I'm just wearing black Nasty Gale mom jeans. They're a little bit baggy. Um, I'm not sure if I should just keep them rolled down or roll them up, but it's whatevs. And then I'm just wearing my beat up Air Forces. So that's the vibe for today. And I actually need to put some I need to put some dry shampoo in my hair and I want to show you guys a dry shampoo that I've been using. I am going to spray a little bit of dry shampoo just because my hair is very oily. I have to wash it tonight and yeah, my hair is just super oily. So the dry shampoo I've been using recently is the IGK Charcoal Dry Shampoo. This is the first time I'm really using this product and it's really nice and it smells so, so good. It smells like perfume and it kind of reminds me of the batiste clean and bear 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 with me the dry shampoo is bomb so if you guys don't like the batiste one definitely check out the igk charcoal one it's really, really good and it smells amazing it smells like perfume flowers all that so yeah that's just the vibe now my hair is looking clean. And then later today before I go to the gym, I am going to spray a little bit of this IGK Overnight Bond Building Dry Hair Mask. So, so I am excited to use this as well. I've never tried this, so we'll see how this goes. But I like the concept of it. So that's it. I'm going to turn off these lights and we're going to start preparing to leave. I'm not going to bring too much stuff because... I'm not really working today, so I'm not going to bring my big work bag. I'm just going to bring my bag that has all my tools in it and then just a little side purse because I do have to run a couple errands after the salon. So also we're starting to collect boxes because we're moving literally a month from now. We're going to be moving. So yeah, I'm 
like sad to leave the space but i'm excited to move to a different building a nicer building that we don't have to deal with bombs and the train and all that so pretty random but that's just like a little morning update before i do aubrey's hair um but before we jump right into this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below so you can see more videos like this in the future also don't forget to follow me on instagram ash luna so you guys can see a little bit more behind the scenes a little bit more of my life especially if you guys are into like all these hair vlog content definitely give me a follow on instagram because i post a lot more on my story and yeah so definitely give me a follow and I will check in with you guys um, on my way to the salon. So see you guys in a bit. Looky bear. He's excited to go to the salon. He loves going. He loves the attention. And he's a good boy, right Bobbies? He's a good boy at the salon. So we are almost there, we're about like two blocks away, but I wanted to mention I am wearing my Cremoli Mask Up mask. This is the jungle print, I'm obsessed. I do have a discount code with them, so if you guys want to save some coins, then definitely use my discount code below. Look at Luke, he knows we're about to get there. He loves it so much. Say so I'm about to park, and once I park, we're gonna go ahead and get in, set up and everything, so I'll check in with you guys in a sec. So this is my work wife, say hi. <laughs> Finally doing her hair. Um, so as you can see, her hair is pretty grown out. When was the last time we did it? Like the full? Partial back in like March. March. Um, the last time she touched, the last time she touched it was literally a year ago, <laughs> back in March. Um, but we're gonna do a partial plus. <laughs> we're gonna do a partial plus. We're not gonna do like a full full, but um, we're not gonna. We're just gonna do like you know a partial and then add a couple pieces in the back here just to like break it up. We're not gonna touch her blonde just because we want to keep it nice and safe. We did add Olaplex and we're just gonna bring everything up higher, right? Yeah, but still leaving dimension. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's just the before. Um, we have Lukey Bear over here. Hi, Lukey. We got Christine. Just see you want to say hi? <laughs> Lucky Bear. Give mommy kisses. <laughs> Give mommy kisses. <laughs> oh, good boy. Okay. My work wife is processing. <laughs> I'm laying on the floor because Luke. Oh, he knows where the treats are. <laughs> Luke. Oh, We're gonna give Bubbies a treat. Good boy. <gasps> Good boy. Come on, come lay in your bed. Lucky, come on. Come lay in your bed. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy, Luke. <laughs> So we're just gonna wait for her to process. Lucky. Lucky. He's happy. You happy, Bubbies. Get a bone.
right, so she is currently toning. Um, I did do a color melt, so I did a darker color up on the top just to make sure everything's nice and blended. And then we're doing like a beigey ash sheer toner everywhere else. And we're just gonna let this process for 10 minutes and then rinse it off. Luke, no. Be a boy, stop jumping on the bowls. I'm watching you. And don't swallow that hole. <laughs> He will choke. <laughs> Lukey. so I'm back home and it is 12.53. I left the salon exactly at 12.30. So it only took like two and a half hours, not bad at all. So I was gonna go to Dollar Tree and I'm just not gonna go because I need to get mason jars. But the mason jars I need, they're, I need big mason jars and I don't think I can find them at Dollar Trees. And I'm starving, I haven't ate anything since. So also I did change my pants. Those jeans are really tight and they're not stretchy at all. So I wanted to wear something a little bit more comfy for now until I go to the gym. But yeah, I'm gonna make a quick little lunch. I'm gonna do brown rice, which is the frozen brown rice from Trader Joe's. Let me grab it. This is the brown rice I picked up at Trader Joe's yesterday. I always get the jasmine white rice, but unfortunately they didn't have it in stock at the moment. So this is what I got. I hate brown rice. I think it tastes nasty and just has no flavor. So we're gonna do brown rice today. And I could make white rice because I do have a shit ton of white rice in the pantry, but I just don't feel like boiling it, cooking it, waiting for it. This literally takes three minutes in the microwave. So it's just easy. So I'm gonna make brown rice. So I'm gonna make brown rice. I'm gonna do a can of albacore white tuna. I get the no salt one just so I can add my own seasoning. This is my go-to lazy, healthy meal-ish kind of. So I do rice, tuna, and I mash avocado in. And sometimes I'll put a sprinkle of feta cheese on top with some, I'm probably gonna add spinach because I have spinach in the fridge. So I'm gonna add fresh spinach in the bowl as well. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I make my quick little healthy lunch meal and sometimes dinner so yeah i thought i had a ripe avocado but i don't so i did put one in the microwave oh, it's really hot i put one in the microwave hopefully it'll help brighten up a little bit because i love avocado in my rice bowl so so i have the brown rice and do a little bit of brown rice oh i put too much so I have brown rice and then I have a whole can of white albacore tuna from Trader Joe's and I do get the no salt added. I'm gonna do a whole can of this. This thing is hot. Hot avocado up in here. Oh my god. I'm gonna do a little bit of spinach on the side. Just like a little bit, you know, not too much. Oh, it's so hot. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, it's so hot. So I think it did work. It's a little ripe and mushy. So if you need to, so if you do need an avocado ripe, just put it in the microwave for a little bit. Let it heat up. 
let it do its thing. Just let it heat up, let it just sizzle in the microwave till it's ripe. So now I'm just going to put this on my bowl. I do like to put salt and pepper and a little bit of sriracha powder on top of my bowl, especially on top of the avocado and tuna to give it some flavor. And just a little bit of the sriracha powder. This stuff is spicy, so I only do a tiny bit. And then to top it off, I love to add lemon and sometimes lime. So I'm going to do both just because I have both on hand. And there you have it, guys. A healthy rice bowl with tuna, avocado, spinach. I can't wait to eat this. Let's do a little taste test. I do like my avocado very mushy with the rice, but unfortunately the avocados were not ripe. I thought they were, but they weren't. So let's choke. Mmm, so really good. Mm, 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 mm. This is seriously my favorite go-to lazy healthy meal. So it is 109 now and I'm gonna finish up my lunch and then I'm gonna clean up a little bit and start prepping Luke's homemade dog food. I'm so excited, he's gonna eat so good. So I'm gonna finish up my lunch and check in with you guys in a bit. Okay, so a little update. I already kind of cooked the beef a little bit, but once we steam it, it's gonna fully cook through. And then I added celery, broccoli, um, cut up a uh, squash, and I also cut up a sweet potato. He's ready, look at him. He's ready to try this goodness. Look, you gotta wait till it's fully cooked, okay, bubbies? So everything's looking pretty good. I might add a couple more broccoli pieces, but we're about to steam it and let it cook for, I think, 20 minutes. It's on steam mode for about 10 minutes so all the veggies can cook. Um, I did prep his cantaloupe and as well as some blueberries. I washed both of them and obviously I don't have to cut this up, but I did cut this up into smaller pieces. That way he doesn't choke eating it. So I think what I'm gonna do is that in the morning, I'm going to put his dog food in the bowl and then just drizzle a little bit of blueberries on top. And then at nighttime, I'm gonna do the same, but instead of blueberries, I'm gonna put a little bit of cantaloupe on top. And both of these are really good for Frenchies. They're both high in really good nutrients and vitamin C and stuff. He loves cantaloupe. Looky bear, want a cantaloupe? Come here, come here, want cantaloupe? Come here, come here. Like he's coming. He loves cantaloupe. Oh, bubbies, you like the cantaloupe. You like cantaloupe? It's good for you, bubbies. It's good for you. He's a good boy. So while his food is finishing cooking, I'm going to just clean up the kitchen, put everything in the dishwasher, get it nice and cleaned, and I'll check in with you guys in a sec. Alrighty, so it finally finished. So I'm just going to pop open the lid. <gasps> oh my god. I'm so excited for him. He just doesn't understand. He... He does not understand how happy I am right now. Like, look at this. We got some butternut squash. We got some sweet potato. We got broccoli. Celery. I kind of wish I added more veggies. I was just a little scared at first. So I think next time I'm definitely going to add a lot more um, broccoli and maybe some cauliflower. But for the first time, not so bad. So this is what his meal looks like all done. I did include a little bit of his dry food on the bottom. Since this is the first time he's ever gonna have homemade dog food, I obviously don't wanna mess up his stomach, so I am just mixing a half cup with some kibble. So I'm so excited, hopefully he loves it. And I topped it. <laughs> and I topped it with some blueberries and a little bit of coconut oil. I'm also gonna buy collagen powder for dogs and 
put some collagen powder in there once a week and as well as bone broth one of my clients she actually does this for her bulldog and she says it's a must it's just really good for them to have those supplements in their food so yeah i'm super excited so let's do a taste test what you think bubbies you good boy i think he loves it so far so good he's getting in there Oh my god, I'm so happy. Also, if you have a dog, um, it's good to just kind of pet them and talk to them while they eat because it helps with um, like aggressive eaters. I know some dogs, if they eat and you touch them or something or if you get too close to their food, they kind of get aggressive and snap. He's a good boy. Oh my god, guys, I think he loves it. Oh my god, I'm so excited. So I do want to explain a little bit why I switched to homemade dog food. A, because I heard it's really, really good for bulldogs. It's good for their allergies. It's good for their bowel movement. It also helps prevent shedding, which right now he is shedding like crazy. And also he takes like 10 poops a day, I swear. So I think doing this will help them regulate their bowel movement so they're not pooping all day. And anything to make my dog live longer, I'm going to do it. So if I'm going to cook food for him once a week, I'm going to do it. You know so he is finishing up his food now and it is already almost three o'clock what time is it yeah it's 2 48 and i do have orange theory class at 4 30 so i'm gonna clean up in the kitchen i'm gonna put all his food in a tupperware that way it's ready for the week and then i'm gonna get ready for orange theory so i will check in with you guys when i go to orange theory later update oh my god i've never seen him love his food so much until now oh my god i'm so happy so a little update i'm currently getting ready for orange theory i put my activewear on and now i'm just going to try out this igk mask it's an overnight bond building dry hair mask this is really cool because you can spray it in your hair and go about your day and then just wash it off at night i am going to be washing my hair tonight and it's been exactly seven days since i washed my hair Honestly, I could probably go like two more days. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but that dry shampoo I put on earlier really helped a lot with the oil. And now I feel like my hair looks good. Does that ever happen to you guys? When you're about to wash your hair and then you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, oh, it looks good. It doesn't really need to wash, but you need to wash it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to put some of this on and the directions say if there's anything specific to do. It doesn't really say what to do, but I'm just going to spray it in my hair. Smells really good. It feels like there's product in my hair. So what I'm gonna do now is just put my hair up and out of the way. And I'm just gonna spray, I'm just gonna spray a little bit more on my hairline and then underneath here and on the ends of my hair. And that's it. It's a pretty cool concept. If you guys are on the market for a new mask that's very easy and simple to use, definitely check out IGK. They have some really good products. Now it is 3.30, so I'm just gonna chill for 30 more minutes and then head to Orange Theory. So, welcome to Bipolar Florida where we don't know what type of season it is ever. It's chilly in the morning, it's 9 degrees in the afternoon, and then a good whopping hurricane forecast at 5 p.m. Yeah, I, this weather literally came out of nowhere. It was so hard to drive, like, so hard to drive here, I couldn't see, I had to go 2 miles per hour. And I'm just not sure where this weather came from because this morning was nice and then it got really hot and now it's a hurricane. You know, this is Florida. You want to come move to Florida? I know everyone's trying to move here, but this is the weather you're going to get 24-7. My camera's about to die, but once I'm done with this workout, I'm going to head home and I don't know if I'm going to make dinner or not. I really don't feel like cooking today. My camera's about to die, so I'll check in with you guys when I get back from Orange Theory. Hey guys, so I'm finally back home after a long day, it feels like. 
So after Orange Theory, I went to Dollar Tree just to get a couple of things that I needed. I did get a mason jar, but I got the mason jar for my smoothies. I was trying to look for like tumbler cups, but I couldn't find any, so I just got the mason jars. And I also found these lashes, which I've mentioned. I've mentioned these lashes in a video. I've mentioned these lashes in my IG story, but this is a new style they had. Um, this brand, Ioni, really good lashes, and they were only a dollar at Dollar Tree. And then I just got some ring pocket things. I love these things, and these were only a dollar. I forgot to mention that after Dollar Tree, I went to go pick up Tijuana Flats because I was not in the mood to cook. I mean, I'm never in the mood to cook, but today especially, I was just like, mm, I'm just going to pick up some food. So, yeah, we had Tijuana Flats. I had a chicken bowl, it was really, really good, and Ryan had tacos with chips, and yeah, exciting dinner. <laughs> Pretty random, but I also did get a online order from Target, which, it's PJs, which I ordered two sets of PJs. I've never been so excited and pumped to order PJs. <laughs> I came across this brand, Stars and Above, this brand you can only find at Target. I believe it is a Target brand. Um, but these pajamas are the most softest, most comfiest pajamas you will ever put on your body. And they're doing a sale right now where you can get a set, a long sleeve with joggers for only $20. I actually went to Target a couple days ago to pick them up in person, but they didn't have my size. So I just ordered it online and it was only 20 bucks each. So it's such a good deal because usually their pants are $20. So the fact that you get a whole set with a shirt and pants for 20 bucks, that's a really, really good deal. So definitely recommend grabbing yourself a set from Target. I swear these are the most comfiest PJs ever. Um, also, Luke, you got a new toy? Looky bear. You got a new toy? Dad got you a toy? He got you a big bone. Because you're a big boy, Luke. And here we have a beautiful view of boxes. We're probably going to start packing um, in a couple weeks. So, yeah. So that completes my mini salon vlog, doing my work wife's hair, Aubrey. And also like a mini day off vlog, showing you guys what I did today. And just a typical day off, even though I went to work this morning. <laughs> it doesn't feel like that though. So I am going to end the vlog here. I'm going to go wash my hair, take all this makeup off, and just get in some comfy PJs. And just going to chill for the rest of the night and get ready for my full work week. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe down below to help your girl out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.